equal to first of all part, then any, uh, x is equal to part and x is equal to zero, then you will get the deduction. See, in this series, suppose this is second equation, in this once we put x is equal to zero, once we put x is equal to part. So if you put x is equal to zero, this becomes cos of zero, cos of zero is one, so this becomes one upon n square. And if you put x is equal to pi, this becomes cos of n pi, cos of n pi is minus one raised to n. So you will get the required equation by putting different values of x, zero and pi. So once we can put now x is equal to uh, zero. So let's see what will happen if you put x is equal to zero in the series. In this series, what is fx? fx is our pi minus x whole bracket square divided by 4. In this, we will put x is equal to 0. So, this becomes pi square by 12 plus summation cos of 0 upon n square. n is from 1 to infinity. Now, x is 0. So, this is pi square by 4 only. If you put x is equal to 0, this becomes pi minus 0 bracket square by 4. That is pi square by 4. Subtract this pi square by 12 from this. So pi square by 12 is equal to summation 1 upon n square. It is from 1 to infinity. Because cos of 0 is 1, so this becomes 1 upon n square. Subtract this value from LHS. Okay. Now simplify this. So here if you take NCM is 12, then 3 pi square minus pi square. So this becomes 2 pi square upon 12. And that is equal to what? Putting n equal to 1 to 3, so on in this right hand side series. So this becomes 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus plus so on. Now 2 pi square upon 12, well, that is nothing but pi square by 6. Okay. So pi square by 6 is equal to 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus plus so on. So this will give you first a direction. Okay. Pi square by 6 is equal to this right hand side by putting x is equal to 0 so that cos function get eliminated. Now we will put x is equal to pi. Okay, so putting x is equal to pi in this, so this becomes pi minus pi whole bracket square. So you can simplify this. Hello, Asana. Now you can put x is equal to pi here, so that this becomes pi minus pi, that is 0. So left hand side value will be. If you put x is equal to pi, this becomes pi minus uh, pi, that is 0. So 0 minus subtract value, right hand side value, pi square by 12, from this 0. So 0 minus pi square by 12 is equal to what? Summation cos of n pi upon n square. n is from 1 to infinity. Cos of n by minus 1 raised to n upon n squared. So this is summation. Summation cos of n by is minus 1 raised to n upon n squared. So now when we put the values of n equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on, we get minus 5 square by 12 is equal to. We put n equal to 1, this becomes minus 1 raised to 1 upon 1 square. Plus, if you put n equal to 2, this becomes minus 1 square that is 1 square upon uh, 2 square okay putting n equal to 3 this becomes minus 1 raised to 3 upon 3 square plus 1 raised to 4 upon 4 square and so on so if you simplify this or you can take negative sign common from this so this becomes 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square minus 1 upon 4 square plus plus so on that is equal to what? That is equal to minus pi square upon 12. And minus minus plus, so this will give you 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 2 square 
plus 1 upon 3 square and so on that is equal to 5 square by 12. So this is the static direction. See now 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square. This is the second deduction. And now how will you obtain the third deduction? So if you add first and second, you will get third deduction. And in first two deduction, you will get third deduction. So if you add here, so we get here this plus minus terms get cancelled. So 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 1 square. That becomes 2 times 2 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus 1 upon 3 square. That become 2 upon 3 square. Next term will be 2 upon 5 square plus plus so on. Right hand side 5 square by 6 plus 5 square by 12. Now what is the LCM of this? That is 12 multiplied here by 2. So 2 pi square plus pi square that is 3 pi square upon 12 is equal to what? Here we can take 2 common in bracket 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square plus plus so on. Or from this 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus 1 upon 5 square plus plus so on is equal to what? This is uh, multiplied here. This will be divided by 2 by 1. This is 1 by 2. Okay. So this 3 by 10 is nothing but 1 by 4. So 4 into 2 is 8. So this is pi square by 8. So this is the required third deduction that we prove here. 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus 1 by 5 square is equal to pi square by 8. Okay. So in this way we can solve the problems of Fourier series and we can prove the required deduction by substituting some suitable value of x in the given Fourier series you can prove the deduction. Okay. So here we have solved the problems to find out the Fourier series when the interval is 0 to 2 pi. Problems are lengthy problems. Only in uh, one lecture you can cover one maximum one or two problems only. So in the next lecture, we will consider even and odd functions to find out the Fourier series for even and odd functions. Okay. So we will stop here. You can leave the meeting. If anybody 